the first time in my adult life, I set up a Christmas tree. I decided that this year was going to be the year because I felt like I needed more coziness in the winter time. And um, of course, I didn't want to buy a new Christmas tree. I didn't want a real one because I didn't want to deal with all the hassle. So I decided to go thrift shopping to find one. And boy, was there a lot of stuff to be found. I was a bit worried because I knew that the Kringwinkles were going to start selling their Christmas ornaments on the 1st of December. So I was expecting there to be a huge rush, like Black Friday rush. But actually, it wasn't that bad after all. It was pretty easy to just grab one of the trees because they had a lot of them. I went to four different Kringwinkles, found the tree in one of them and then found some ornaments that I liked in another one. There was just so much stuff to the extent that I kind of felt a little bit sick to my stomach. Like I had a little knot in my stomach just thinking about people buying new Christmas ornaments while there is so much stuff already available, already made. I guess the only difference is that you have to spend a bit more time looking for things that you like, but I don't mind that. Drinking from my favorite mug, shout out to Izzy. The tree comes in two parts. So the bottom part, when you flip it around, the branches go down so it's easier to store and the top part doesn't do that but you can kind of bend the branches. I do wonder where I'm going to store this because I don't have uh, any space left in my storage room downstairs so that will be a challenge. I might have to keep my Christmas tree all year round. I already had this wooden nutcracker that I used to decorate my place with, so that was my inspiration for the theme. I wanted it to be nutcracker themed or like toy themed, so I was very glad to find these wooden toys in one of the Kringwinkles. I also bought some Christmas balls there. It didn't have any of the hooks, but I also found a little box with hooks in the Kringwinkle as well. The Christmas balls are made from plastic, by the way. They're not glass, because um, I have a cat and I'm a bit worried that she might think that this Christmas tree is her new toy. So far, I've only had to scare her away twice when she became a little bit too interested in the tree. But other than that, she's been good. I have these fairy lights from before, from when I made my jellyfish costume. So I figured I didn't need any lights, I could just use that. An advantage of it is that it has a battery, it's battery operated, so I can just put the Christmas tree wherever I want, which to me sounds convenient because I have a small apartment. After I put in the lights, had to redo it because they weren't distributed evenly. Learned from the first time, I can just put my Christmas tree a bit further from the wall and then I could just move around it. After I did that, I put in my wooden ornaments and my Christmas balls. I also added some candy canes that I had left from um, last year. Love that there are edible things in my Christmas tree. I also added this reindeer that um, comes from my brother's wedding. My sister-in-law spray painted these animal toys in a golden color. Of course, I put my nutcracker on top of the Christmas tree. Um, nothing fancy, just used like a little ribbon to hang it around the top of the tree. In hindsight, I don't know if the fairy lights were uh, such a great idea because they don't really light up that much. Maybe it's because the batteries are almost dead. I don't know, maybe it's just the way fairy lights are. But maybe uh, next year I'll go find some, uh, some Christmas lights in the thrift shop. Because they did have some, but I just didn't think I would need them. I might have to find something to hide the bottom of the Christmas tree, but we'll see. It doesn't bother me that much at the moment. And there you have it. My first Christmas tree. I'm actually kind of proud of it.